welcome once again in this video i'm going to show you how i made this little jack-o-lantern and uh, i made a few more and these are just the faces there are brooch pins i'm gonna put the pin at the back and they look really cute so i'm gonna show you how i made them just uh, rolled the wool in a pumpkin shape as you can see in my pumpkin videos and I've just made segments on half of it and in the front I'm going to draw the face just using a watercolor marker you can use any marker because it's gonna be covered anyways so I'm drawing a face on that so it has to be really nicely felted and nice and solid now I'm using my scissors and cutting out the holes for the eyes and uh, it won't be really neat but it's okay because you have to felt it down so you're just making holes basically so if, if it doesn't come onto the drawing it's alright you can shape it with your needle So I'm carefully cutting holes taking out wool from the holes and I'm gonna do the same with the nose I'm just redefining it because when you make holes you'll see that it's not that neat and you can rectify it with your needle so you have to have a sharp scissor make as deep as you want them to be now I'm cutting the nose just a little triangle Really tiny bit will come out. Now I'm going to carefully cut the mouth out. along the lines I have done it in uh, real time <clears throat> because some of my viewers want me to show you the details I'm just carefully going around the mouth Once you've cut, you have to remove the wool from it, so carefully just pluck it out. So it doesn't have to be really deep. And you're gonna make it neater with the needle. So now using my needle I'm redefining the shape that I want on the face and this is the first time I'm making a deco lantern so I just thought I'll film it on the way and if it turns out nice I'll share it with you all so I didn't know how to but this is like the first time and I think it makes a really nice shape when you cut out and you use scissors so you shouldn't be afraid of using scissors on your felts so I'm just redefining the eyes and you can make it bigger if you want 
I just try it with small because I like small things and smaller projects are done more quickly just melting down I'm going to go over all the shapes that I've cut out with my needle After I've redefined the shapes with my needle, I'm taking black merino top wool and I'm taking little shreds and I'm gonna fill the eyes, the nose and the mouth with it. So I'm just taking a little shred of black wool and I'm going to fill the holes that I made for the eyes. It's pretty simple and turns out to be really great. So if you've made the pumpkins, seeing my tutorial, you'll see that you can make half of a pumpkin and make the face on the other half of it. same way I'm going to fill the mouth as I did the eyes I'm taking really tiny shreds of black and I'm gonna go inside and this is the part where you can just neaten up the shapes that you want the points of the triangles of the mouth so you'll see that when you cut a hole the wool really gets into it.
After filling the cuts with black wool, I'm going to put more wool on the segments to define the segments of the pumpkin. So half of them were left. So now I'm going to add more wool and shape them. And on the front, I'm going to add more around the face and on the forehead you can see just above the eyes so it has definite shape of the pumpkin so I'm gonna more add more segments I'll use my marker to make lines where I want the segments to be, especially on the forehead, right above the eyes, so I don't make a mistake. And this is what's gonna make it really pop out. Adding more segments at the bottom part, the lower lip as well and this is where I define the cuts of the mouth because I'm adding more wool to it so I can really make sharp edges. I'm using some yellow just to outline the eyes so it will look like a glare right just around the uh, the black part but it's the inside of the eyes so it's just going to be the lining around the black part now i'm going to color my pumpkin sorry that was my cat and he loves the felted items and playing with them so you just have to keep it safe and now I'm going to color my pumpkin and I'm using two shades of uh, oranges one was called the pumpkin I got from the world of wolves and one was a kind of a rustic color so I mix them two together just hand carded them and getting really nice lines I just mix them with my hands and I'm going to cover the whole pumpkin all around the eyes and the cut out parts and you can add more shades where you want so I've taken my spinous needle that I have and I think it's 42 it was recommended by Philippa and I got it from Heidi Feathers. I'm gonna add some useful links to Heidi Feathers products in the description of my video. 
So I'm redefining the shape of the mouth with the black color again because it got a bit lost when I added the orange. So I'm going over it again with some more black. With my finer needle, I'm going through the inside of the mount, like really turning it over and felting the edges. So I got definite triangles, nice definite cuts. So you can just rotate your piece and go inside the cuts that we have made adding lines using a darker brown color if you don't want then you can just skip this part because not all the pumpkins have them Now I'm using some carded wool for the stem and it's easier to make the stem with some carded wool rather than the merino top. So just roll some over because when you're coloring the, the pumpkin you'll see that you'll get some orange color on top and you can just leave it there for the stem and just roll the stem over with some brown color and it's easier this way so I'm just making it nice and firm and here it is done and the brooch pins as well. I hope you liked it. And thank you very much for watching. And do subscribe for more tutorials. This was a fun and easy project. And I really enjoyed it. Hope you did too. Thank you.